Tens of thousands of pop culture fans are expected to congregate in downtown Atlanta this weekend as Labor Day weekend mainstay Dragon Con returns. The annual event takes over five downtown Atlanta host hotels, including the Hyatt Regency Atlanta. And that's where we find Good Day's Paul Milliken this morning. And good morning to you, Paul. What a guest list, including a, a TV legend there. Good morning. <sighs> I gotta tell you, Elise, you know what? Look, I have talked to some incredible people on Good Day Atlanta. I'm a very fortunate man, but I don't think I've ever been so honored as I am right now to be sitting with television pioneer, the one and only Marty Croft, and HR Puff and Stuff is here. Now, I know so many of you watching loved HR Puff and Stuff and still do, and I'm so glad that you're in Atlanta. Welcome back. Thank you, and I brought Puff here. Yeah, I know. For you and for my Dragon Con. Thank you so much. It's Welcome great to have back. you. To our second home, yeah. Atlanta. Well, let's talk about that. So you had a park here back in 1976. Yeah, we had the Willis and Marty Croft at yeah. the Omni. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was like the eighth wonder, but we couldn't <laughs> survive it. Yeah. There were all kinds of problems. Yeah. But we have a big history. You do. In Atlanta. You do. We opened up Six Flags mm -hmm. in Atlanta, and we had a thousand-seat theater. Yeah. Played to a couple million people. Yeah. And wound up very successful there. Yeah. And so we love Atlanta. Yeah. So I figured I better come back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We want you back as much as possible. Well, let's talk about HR Puff and stuff. This goes back to 1969. What what was the impetus for creating this character? Who knows? People say, how would you do it? <laughs> I said, we have a lot of nightmares. <laughs> so we create all these great characters. <laughs> and you can't kill us with a baseball bat. <laughs> We're still the only independent left yeah. from the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And you know, then we only had three networks. Works. Yeah. So every kid back then watching Saturday morning yep. grew up. Yes. So that's why they're still our fans. Absolutely. I can go to New York now, stop 10, 50-year-olds. Do you know any of the theme songs we did? They, well, five out of 10 can tell oh, us the yeah. lyrics. Yeah, you are a big part of all of our childhoods and continue to be because there's a whole streaming network coming now. Talk the about The other this. great thing is, I got to tell you, I know I'm not answering your question, is that my daughters, my one daughter, yeah. Diana, yeah. who's been with me since she's 15, yep. so she's She's the next Croft. Yeah. So we got Croft still coming. Oh, yeah. So this is good. Yeah, it lives on. And you never could have imagined in 1969 you would get to a place where now we could stream your content. Oh, yeah. You know, I finally decided. I thought it was a great idea. It was Deanna's idea. We got to get all the shows out. Yeah. So let's stream everything. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. Yeah. 300 hours of television. Incredible. You know, so hopefully this is a good move. Yeah. And I know it is. Yeah. I know it is too. So well, many of us. happened, by the way, the first of the year. Yeah. Right now, what we're doing is we're upgrading okay. all the tapes. So and I think that our company is doing it, spending a quarter of a million dollars wow. just cleaning up everything. Wow. Yeah, you got to make it look perfect on TV for the new generation. And look, it's, it's an honor to interview you, but it's really an honor to interview. This is, I mean, this has never happened on Good Day Atlanta before. HR Puff and Stuff, how are you? I'm great, Paul. How it's are you? It's so good to great. see you. So good to see you. Great Welcome to, to Atlanta. Back. How does it feel to be back? Oh, it's so fun to be back here in Atlanta. It's gorgeous. Real hot and humid, but it's nice. Yeah. Well, we're so glad you're here. What do you think of Dragon Con so far? Oh, it's real loud. Lots of kooky costumes and, you know, it's nothing I'm real unused to because where I'm from, a lot of... A lot of people dress up as weird stuff, so so it's pretty entertaining. Yeah, you fit right in here. No, you were you've been to Comic Con Thank many times. You've never been to Dragon Con. Never right? been here. They've asked me to come. So I said, look, I gotta do it now. Yeah. So here we are. Here you are. Well, thank you for decades and decades of great entertainment. Donnie and Marie, the Brady Bunch Hour. You and I talked about my favorite, wait, wait Pink Lady. see what's coming. Oh. We've got some major things coming. I can't wait. So, you know, we're not done. And, and by the way, I want you to say hi to my daughter, Diana. She's right here. So we got, would you pan over and show her? She didn't know she was going to be on TV. You want someone who's great stories of growing up in television. It's this lady right here. You're the one who's Book I want to read someday, okay? Okay. Wonderful. So great to see all of you this morning. Elise, legends on Good Day at La I mean, Donnie and Marie, HR Puff and Stuff, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, the list goes on and on of what this gentleman gave all of us growing up. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. What a treat of to course. have him with you. My gosh. Enjoy yeah. that. All right, Paul, yeah. thank you so much. And Dragon Con continues in downtown Atlanta through Monday. For more information on attending, just follow the links at fox5atlanta.com and look for the story under the Good Day section. What a big weekend it'll be.